G'day all, it's Colin from PC TLC. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at the Ubuntu Mate 1710 desktop layout choices. So first of all, we'll start off by going to the Mate tweak tool. Currently we are on traditional desktop layout and that, that, actually, that currently has uh, the original GNOME 2 menu with the three tiered menu at the top left hand corner. Now this one here in, in the panel you can choose to show applications or not show, places or not show, sys or show or choose not to show systems. So you can turn those on and off. You have an indicator applet here with the calendar, window list, show desktop bottom left hand corner, bottom right hand corner you have workspaces and your rubbish bin. So from the traditional we're going to look at the Redmond desktop layout. Now the Redmond desktop um, is likened to the traditional Windows layout which it has the menu on the bottom left hand corner now this um, Redmond is using the original Linux Mint Mate menu, which is a fairly comprehensive menu. A lot of people think it seems to be old. It's not too bad though. It has show desktop, some launches, window list, an applet for your mounted partitions or USB, indicator applet, a bit more spaced out this one, and a clock. So that's the Redmond desktop layout. You can see these features here are turned off because you don't have the, uh, the three optional menu there. Next we have Pantheon. Now the Pantheon menu is simulating the elementary desktop with the dock at the bottom although it has a slightly different uh, menu type which is using the brisk menu. You can't scroll from the brisk menu to these other two menus but you can scroll between those two. That's just a feature that's probably going to be put in place uh, in the near future I would say. And you can also toggle off and on your places and system menus. Next we have the netbook layout. The netbook layout has your original menu and just the one menu only with the, the tiered menu. Your places or systems are inside the menu here. You don't have an option of toggling them on and off. Show desktop. Your Windows list is just an icon that shows here. There's another icon there for my running OBS. Workspaces, indicator applet, and clock, and calendar. Now the one thing I'm not sure whether you noticed or not with all the, the desktops that I've shown so far, which is the traditional Redmond, Pantheon, and Netbook, is they all have the window buttons on the right, and the file manager menus, or any application menu in, in this case, within the window. Now the next three we look at, we'll start with Mutiny. Mutiny has buttons on the left. It also has a global menu, which means your menus are not inside the window here, they'll always be up on the top here. Now the, um, also with the open another application and lower that down the, the menu for this so this is the selected window that is the menu list for your LibreOffice calc. So if I go to here then your menu options are only for that window there. So it changes depending on the active window now also within here, under the Mutiny desktop, if you press the Alt button, you have the HUD, which is the heads-up display. 
So you can sort, arrow down and select if you wish, um, print preview, search for anything that you know that you use within this program and you're more than likely going to find it if you know the name of it. So that's a very handy feature. I can see that improving productivity big time. Then next we have the uh, also, sorry, we have the rubbish bin here, workspaces, and this is the brisk menu with the uh, the dock bar inside of a panel. So that's running a dock. And indicator applets and calendar, I think I, I've already mentioned. So the next desktop layout we have is Cupertino. Now I just want to be sure, I'm going back to netbook here because I just want to make sure that the, but, that the layout is correct because sometimes it does play up a little bit. Um, if we go from the netbook selection, it'll always be, uh, be correct from there. So your Cupertino is using the brisk menu, no other menus there, one simple panel layout up the top indicator applet spaced out, and a calendar. So that's quite a simple layout, uh, but it also has the global menu, buttons on the left as well, same as Mutiny, and also it will have, under Office, the heads-up display. Next desktop layout we have is the contemporary. That too is the same as the Mutiny and the Cupertino, as in the buttons are on the left. It has the global menu and also if we go to Office, it has the heads up display as well. And you cannot toggle these places and system on and off either. So, so that is um, so. Just to um, go back over that, if we have a look at this, the top three here have the Windows buttons on the left, global menu, and the heads-up display. The bottom four have the buttons on the right, no global menu, and no heads up display. So that's a quick look at the desktop choice, desktop selection layouts in Ubuntu Mate 1710. Thank you for watching.